In this episode of CITV, we're going to show you the latest software updates to the FitLite Trainer up next. Today I'm excited because we're going to be showing you the latest software update to the FitLite Trainer and we've brought in Rob from FitLite. Thank you so much for coming here Thank you very to show much, us Freddy. it. So tell me, what is the new software update for the FitLite system all about? The new software is mainly focusing on cognitive tasks to add that extra cognitive load to your existing training. All right, I am so excited about this update because this is something I've been waiting for for a very long time. Like, you know, people like to train strength, they like to train power, they like to train that motor output, and that's very important for athleticism. But the difference between winning and losing can often be milliseconds. And before you have that motor output, before you start moving, comes that cognitive load, that task, that decision you have to make. And to train that, to me, is just as important as getting somebody to move faster or stronger. So to have a tool that can train both things is invaluable, and I'm excited to show it to them. And in fact, I think that's the be best thing we can do next. Why don't we show them what the system can do? I like that. Let's do it. All right, Rob, so show me some of the capability of the updated software. Well, let's start with the Simon Says Protocol. What's that? The Simon Says Protocol allows you to recreate a pattern. The lights will go on in a certain pattern, mm -hmm. and you have to replicate that. Okay. Um, how long, how many steps is the pattern? Does it keep going? How many uh, you want. So you can set it to one or you can set it to uh, 15 if okay. you want. Okay, so you could really tax their memory. Correct. Uh, what is it measuring when you're doing this? Uh, memory, accuracy, and speed because you also need to be uh, fast to replicate oh, the pattern. So you guys have added the capability to know if it's uh, not only going, if they're hitting it fast enough, but if they got uh, incorrect pattern. That is correct. Perfect. That's one of the things I've been waiting for. I'm so excited you guys have added it. So now you're doing speed, memory, and accuracy all in one drill. That's incredible. I think the best way to demonstrate this is to have somebody do it. I brought along a human performance alumni and a really gifted performance coach in his own right. Mike, let's bring him in. Perfect. Now we're going to go to the Simon Says Protocol. What you're going to do is you're going to replicate a certain pattern. If I hit start, the lights will go on in that certain pattern and you need to replicate that. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. <laughs> and that was an error. The system is uh, now shutting off, but you can also program it that it will continue when you have an error. Rob, that was great. I totally see the direction you guys are going into. What else can the system do? The next one is going to be the split attention protocol. The split attention protocol allows you to deactivate matching colors with both hands simultaneously. So there's going to be a bunch of colors that show up and then you have to hit the two matching ones? Correct. You can add as many decoy lights and colors as you want, just as long as you deactivate the two matching colors at the same time with both hands. Got it. So depending on the size of the board, you could be working on peripheral awareness or vision, uh, pattern recognition, and then some fine motor control since you have to do it at the same time. With exactly. Both. Okay. Excellent. Let's see what that looks like in practice. Great. Now we're going to go to the split attention protocol. What you're going to do is when I hit start, these lights will go on randomly with different colors. You're going to find the matching colors, deactivate them simultaneously with both hands. Are you ready? Ready. All right. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> Rob, I love the way these are coming out. Show me another one. All right, let's go to the go, no-go protocol. All right, go, no-go. All right, this I know about. So for those who are following up along at home, go, no-go gives you the opportunity to train or target specifically the prefrontal cortex to work on impulse control. Again, something really important for not only the neural rehab side of things, but also athleticism. But uh, Rob, didn't you guys have the ability for go, no go before? That's correct. However, now we've added the capability to keep track of errors and you can actually add decoy lights to your existing uh, protocol. A good upgrade. All right, let's see it. Perfect. Now we're going to go to the go, no go protocol. 
Usually, go, no, go means green, go, red, no, go. However, we reverse the process. Red being go, green being no go, blue is a decoy. Okay. It doesn't matter. Are you ready? Ready. All right. All right, great job. Rob, so far so good. Give me another one. All right, let's go to the near far protocol. Okay, what's that look like? Near far protocol means that one light will go on with a certain color, mm -hmm. then you turn around and you gotta find the matching light and the matching color amongst other lights. Oh, this sounds harder. All right, I gotta see it, let's see it. All right. Okay, Mike, now we're gonna do the near far protocol. Once you deactivate the light that's in front of you, the light will give a certain color. You gotta find the matching color on the board in the back. Are you ready? Ready. All right, go. All right, great job. Rob, I love everything you've shown me today. Is there anything that we didn't get a chance to demonstrate today? Um, another part of the new update will be is that you're able to load images onto the tablet to add that extra cognitive load to your existing training. Beautiful, I've been waiting for the capability for the tablet to be able to give us some sort of uh, visual cognitive load. So I imagine that you could put a defensive football formation or offensive football formation and then have the athlete make a decision based off of that. Something like that. And find a matching light to the answer, correct. Perfect, great. Rob, thank you so much for coming down and demonstrating all of this. I love the software updates. I love the capability to do more cognitive loading. I love the capability that you guys are uh, doing uh, correct stimuluses and incorrect stimuluses. Still tracking the speed and the accuracy. All very beneficial uh, updates in software. This is why the human performance features this technology. It's very, very useful for our athletes, but we're finding ourselves using it more and more on the neurological rehabilitation side of things, which is exciting to all our Karak Institute scholars as well. So thank you very much for coming down. Guys, Thanks thank you for much. tuning in to this episode of CITV. We will catch you next time.